Good morning, Andy here from GDMFX. We start with the North American markets. Yesterday we had the Fed. Uh, actually, today we start with the Fed's two-day policy meeting, uh, and it will provide important clues on when the next rate hike may occur. Dow Jones sideways, Nasdaq sideways, Dixie index up to 96.55 from 96.20. USD CAD. 40 pips up, USD Swiss franc, 45 pips up, USD JPY, it's going sideways. Today, we we'll have the retail sales month on month and also the retail sales excluding autos. We move to the EU markets. We had the Euro industrial production, Euro near, which came out at 2.7% better than previous and also the industrial production month on month 1.6% better than previous as well. EURUSD continued to retreat from three week highs from last Thursday as market players awaited three major central banking meetings later this week. Today we will be focused on the CPI data from France and Italy, also the European employment change and the German 10 year bond auction. This is all for the European markets. We move to the UK markets. No events from yesterday. The sterling lost 0.3% versus the dollar and was little changed versus the euro yesterday as investors are waiting for George Osborne's budget and the Bank of England supper Thursday. The FTSE 100 gained 25 points yesterday and closed at 6,155. 6, the pound versus the dollar 100 pips down, pound yen 107 pips down, pound luni 80 pips down, pound kiwi 50 pips up. Tomorrow we will have the budget report and all eyes are on the Super Thursday. We move to the Asian and Pacific markets. We had the Bank of Japan press conference, um, which is actually at this moment. Also, Bank of Japan interest rate decision, 0.1% uh, as previous and forecast. Japanese monetary policy statement, also tertiary industry index month on month, month, on month 2.1% better than previous. Uh, Japanese industrial production year on year, negative 3.8% as previous also the industrial production month on month at 3.7% as previous and forecast. The shares in Asia fell after Bank of Japan kept interest rate unchanged, pushing the Japanese yen higher versus its major rivals. Nikkei 60 points up yesterday, going down today, uh, pound yen uh, 100 down, euro yen 69 down, Aussie yen 45 down and Kiwi yen 60 pips down. No big events from the Pacific. Uh, yesterday we had the Governor Wheeler speech from uh, the Royal Bank of New Zealand. Today we have the Aussie new motor vehicle sales 1.9% towards the previous and also the uh, month on month 0.5% worse than previous. We have the RBA meetings minutes. Commodities, S&P 500, range of 12 points. At 2013 now, gold had a range of $32 down to $1,230, silver had a range of $0.57 cents, down to $15.32, cordon had almost $2 range down to $36.71 now, natural gas trading at $1.89 at the moment, range of $0.08, cents. it's going sideways I would say. Also, the gold futures fell sharply in North American trade yesterday as investors looked ahead to a raft of central bank meetings and rate decisions this week. Also, the crude prices slid from three-month highs on Monday after Russia lent support to Iran's refusal to align with other major producers. Today, we expect API weekly crude oil stock. Thank you. Have a good day.